when we talk about robotics or artificial intelligence, the temptation is actually to place some of these developments in more advanced markets, not our markets. But closer to home, we have many brains, innovators that are coming up and are comfortably sitting here and doing great things. Check this out. Technology is taking part everywhere in this modern era of time. Every single day that passes by, there is technology innovations taking place across the globe. And there is a bunch of young African technology geniuses participating in this place. Among these is Mwaka Horace, a student at International University of East Africa. He has designed a robot by a project named Falcon to simplify agriculture cores. My name is Mwaka Horace. I'm a student at International University of East Africa. I'm doing Bachelor's of Science in Electrical Engineering. This machine is a Falcon robot. I gave it name Falcon Robot. So it is used to do a number of work, which uh, one of them is agriculture work of spraying pesticides and identifying pests on plants on a number of plants and also can be used to do irrigation. It has a, a, a camera for identifying which plant has pests or which area then it can only spray where there are pests in order to save the pesticides. To come up with such innovation, the idea was to save humans from health disorders. That can be as a result of agricultural practices like spraying with chemicals and also to foster efficiency while in gardens as well as saving resources. This work is, uh, is not healthy like uh, when you're spraying for a human being. This is to save human beings from inhaling those pesticides when they are spraying. Because normally uh, when you're spraying, you, you have to breathe that air mixed in with pesticide, which is not which is not good to human body. So this robot helps to make to do that work because somehow it is it is risky to human life. Also, it is tiresome. One thing, when you're using the robot, it can't get tired. It's its efficiency or when uh, from the morning to evening it can work, it can't get tired and it can do the same work without changing the quality of output. Unlike if a human, you employ someone, you have to feed him, maybe also you have to pay him, then that person has to get tired and even cannot produce the work you is supposed to be producing. He explains the technology comprised of this robot. It has a Bluetooth, it has a system, a programmable system, which consists of Arduino board, Bluetooth module, uh, the speed um, uh, relay switches, then motor drivers, which are h bridge ICs. They are the ones, that system, it works like the brain of the robot, it's the one that decides and switches control the parts of the robot, various parts. That system in the middle of the robot it is, works as the brain. It is where I connect with my phone using Bluetooth, then I can be able to control every, every part of the robot. Initially, he aimed at crafting a spy robot, but later on, he got an idea of making a robot that could be productive. I just uh, started this robot as a a security a spy robot just to put a camera then it goes and shows me what is taking place in various places but with time as I kept working on it I discovered that I got an idea of making it do some work other than moving around with a camera just spying not doing any work so I said I can advance it I can keep the camera on to show me what is taking place, then I can make it do any work I need it to do. Mwaka has plans of making advancements in his innovation to improve on the quality of services to be delivered. 
But this robot, although I'm controlling with Bluetooth, I want to, to advance it more and program it with artificial intelligence and machine learning so that you can just switch it to go and work automatically without controlling it. It will be knowing, following commands, know what to do, and that is called machine learning technology.